guys, this is Tech Talk back here with another video, and today I'm going to be discussing a lot of the recent jailbreaks that have came out recently. There's been about six or seven that just all came out at the same time, and so I'm going to be discussing those with you today. So for those of you who thought that jailbreaking was dead, you are completely wrong, and boy am I glad because I do love jailbreak. And um, I actually was wondering if it would be dead for a while, but to be fair, it did. There were no jailbreaks for quite some time until the Phoenix jailbreak came out, and then all these t iOS 10 and 11 jailbreaks came out, which is what I'm going to be discussing today. So let's go to the first jailbreak on the list. So the first jailbreak that has recently came out is called Meridian. It is for all 64-bit devices running iOS 10 to 10.3.3 and it even includes the 7 plus um, that is the highest phone because the 8 and X were not supported on iOS 10 because they came out with iOS 11 it does contain Cydia but no Cydia substrate so basically what that means Cydia substrate is what allows you to install some tweaks so you will not be able to install any tweaks with it and Cydia is not working this is a developer jailbreak so it should be coming soon fully working but we'll just have to so wait. The next jailbreak on the list is the Goblin jailbreak it is for iOS 10 Point oh to 10.3.3 ignore what the picture says it Cydia substrate does work and it does install Cydia it works for all a9 64-bit devices all a9 devices are 64 that's your iPhone 6s and 6s plus the 2017 9.7 inch iPad the first generation iPad Pro and the 9.7 inch iPad Pro and the iPhone SE are all supported. Those are A9 devices and it works up. It works from A7 to A9 which is your 64-bit devices not including the iPhone 7. So you can install some tweaks but some apps that need root access, for example, Filesa, do not work because this jailbreak is still work in progress. So it does not have root access, but you can still install most tweaks and apps. So the next jailbreak on the list is the Electra Jailbreak Toolkit. Okay, so it is for iOS 11 to 11.1.2 on all 64-bit devices for developers only. The reason for this is Cydia is not installed. It is primarily for coding your own tweaks and making your own tweaks for developers and testing them on the device to see if they work. It comes with anemone for testing and installing themes for developers. You can install themes but it does not come with Cydia. So unless you're a developer, I definitely would not recommend the Electra jailbreak. But if, if you know what you're doing and have experience with jailbreak, then sure, go ahead and download it. But otherwise, I would not get this jailbreak. So there is still more jailbreaks that have come out all within like the past month. So this one is called the Coffee Jailbreak, spelled with a three. It is for iOS 10 to 11.1.2. Um, it has no Cydia substrate installed. You can build using Xcode or by downloading the IPA for the Coffee Jailbreak app. Cydia starts only on iOS 10.x, no iOS 11. Some tweaks that don't require Cydia substrate will run. Cydia does not start on iOS 11 as it has to be updated by Soric, who is the only one can update it as well as Cydia substrate. They are the ones who have to fix that. So this jailbreak I would definitely recommend for 64-bit devices on iOS 10 to 10.3.3. But unless you're a developer, I would certainly not get it for iOS 11.1.2 or iOS 11. I mean, it's a decent for iOS 10, but if you really want the full-fledged version that can do everything, I would wait a little so bit. So the next jailbreak on the list of today's jailbreaks that I'm covering is called Topanga. It's for iOS 11 to 11.1.2. It is a developer jailbreak. Cydia does not have substrate. You can download the Topanga app through the IPA, as you can see here. That would be the IPA. Or you can build using Xcode. It does come with Cydia, but Cydia does not run currently. That is because it is a developer-only jailbreak. Well, not it's not only a developer jailbreak, but this one is certainly not ready for the public to use it 
I would certainly not recommend this one unless you are a developer. So the next jailbreak on my list today is the Helix jailbreak. Again, spelled with a three. It might even be by the same developer. I'm not sure, but it's for iOS 10.0 to 10.3.3. It's for 32-bit devices such as the iPhone 5. And it only works on iOS 10. So that would be the iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, that would, um, the iPad 4th generation. So it works on those devices perfectly fine. I was running it on my iPhone 5 for a while until I restarted it and then kickstarted the jailbreak and then my data didn't work. I was not out of data. I had a perfect signal. My cell service worked, my texting and calling, but my internet data did not work. But I'm sure it's fixed by now. That was a few weeks ago. I'm not even sure if that was the jailbreak's fault. Well, I'm pretty sure it was because I restored it and then it fixed it. But I really enjoyed the Helix jailbreak. Other than that, it was really stable. Cydia is installed with Cydia Substrate and it is a publicly released jailbreak. So I would definitely recommend this one. So the next jailbreak on the list is called Houdini. It's not actually a full jailbreak. It's what we like to call a semi jailbreak. It even says this will never be a full jailbreak. It is very safe to use. I personally believe I'm going to try it. I haven't tried it yet. But there is a beta 2 version of it that is compatible with iOS 11 to 11.1.2. And from for the iOS 10 version, it's iOS 10 to 10.3.2. For whatever reason, it skips iOS 10.3.3. So sorry if you're not on any of those firmwares, then you're out of luck for now. But you can install some tweaks from it that are on Cydia. It basically is like a link to Cydia, from my understanding. I would not recommend installing it from somewhere like App Valley or tweak box because it will come with all kinds of ads and stuff. You should use Cydia Impactor to install it. You can install themes and various tweaks from Cydia. It shouldn't be dangerous to use. Just do, don't do anything that you might regret because it can still modify your device but you can put themes and tweaks on it which is pretty cool. And it's a semi jailbreak so some things you don't have to worry about messing up like you would on a full jailbreak. So I think this is going to be one of my personal favorites. I would definitely recommend this one. Everybody I've seen who's tried it has loved it. I would definitely recommend Houdini. So the last jailbreak on the list is called the Saigon jailbreak. Now this one was about a month or so, maybe three months ago. It's for only iOS 10.2.1. It is compatible with the iPad Air, iPhone 5S, iPhone SE, iPhone 6 slash 6 Plus, and iPhone 6S slash 6 Plus, 6S Plus. It says it's also compatible with the iPhone 6 on 10.3.X. Actually, it says not yet. So it says supports the following devices, but then it says not yet. So I'm not sure about that. So on the third beta, which is the newest one, it has a much higher success rate of actually jailbreaking and working from my understanding. But the older versions, it took a very long time to actually work is what I heard. Now this iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak is for only 64-bit devices, not 32-bit. So that would be your iPhone 5C and 5 and iPad 4, which it is not compatible with. And it's only compatible so far with the devices that have been listed here. So the last so, jailbreak on the list is the Phoenix jailbreak. I've mentioned literally like every other recent jailbreak but this one. So I was like, what the heck, go ahead and throw it in. So this jailbreak is for iOS 9.3.5 only. All 32-bit devices supported, including the iPad mini, iPads 2, 3, and 4, iPhone 5, 5C and iPod Touch 5th generation are all supported by this. It is semi-untethered, so if you download the IPA on your device, unless you get Tutu Apps um, Neestool VPN, then you have to re-sign the IPA every seven days, and sometimes the jailbreak crashes with it. Actually, most of the time it does, but all you have to do is kickstart the jailbreak 
I am currently running this jailbreak on my personal iPad 3. It is very stable. It has worked well for me. I've had no issues with it. And Cydia works perfectly. Cydia Substrate does as well. So pretty much everything about this jailbreak works really well. And I believe they're on like beta 4 by now. Yeah, version 4. So they have been working on it for a while. And it's still... It has been very good for me. So I would definitely recommend this if you've got like an iPhone 4S on iOS 9.3.5. So I would definitely recommend this. Go check this one out. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope this helped you decide which jailbreak you want. I would certainly recommend the Phoenix jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5. The Helix jailbreak for iOS 10 to 10.3.3. Houdini on iOS 11 and 10. And... I would, I think the next one would definitely be the Goblin Jailbreak because I think it is really, really close to being fully functional and a fully fledged jailbreak. So I would recommend those. I'm going to leave all the links to download in the description. So thanks for watching this, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace.